Uh, okay, well, the entire unit is, is a welded structure except for where the uh, width bridges are. That's the only thing that's not welded on them. Uh, that gives it uh, a lot more strength and repeatability when you, when you level it up. It was already welded in a level position, so once you level it up, the stresses are out of it. Pins should all drop in. Um, the, uh, this unit here has, has a basket type uh, winching arrangement where we've got uh, a heavy enough winch on it to actually lift your boat if it was single cable, but it actually goes down through, goes back up, and comes back down again, which gives you double lifting, the pop, lifting power. Mm -hmm. um, that gives you 7,000 pounds on that one end. Um, there's uh, really not a lot else to pay for it, really. It's just uh, it's a pretty built pretty solid. Rigid. Yeah, it's pretty rigid. Most of our other one eight wall tubing. We use uh, 3 sixteenths of a quarter. Gives you a lot more strength. We've also come, gone careful, to careful. an I-beam design. The I-beam allows you to freely access the cables to go through. If uh, you, you want to refeed them yourself, if uh, sometime down the road the cable goes or it starts spraying, mm -hmm. very easy for you to get it, fish it through. Where uh, the other guys, they all manufacture with solid tube. Mm -hmm. Solid tube, it's a, it's a beggar to feed <laughs> the cables through. And you can see the condition that your cables are in too, all, yeah. the, all the time. Yeah, that, exactly, easy yeah. for inspection. Yeah. So how long should these cables last? Um, if you keep an eye on them, they should last you for your lifetime. Okay. I don't really see that this problem. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest issue with cables is if you don't level this unit up and it starts to skew one way or the other mm -hmm. during the year, um, your cables are now pushed off to the side. There's side, side stress on the rollers. Okay. And that will actually start to fray the, the rollers or the cable. Great. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much everything, everything is is drainable for the, both the winter time as well as when you go into the water. All the air comes out of it and it settles down on the bottom. It gives you the, the most amount of weight on it while you're while you're sitting on the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, because you don't have any issues with closed containers, when you go to pull this out of the water, it just flushes. Makes it as light as possible. Mm -hmm.